passage and her gateway, which rests between her damn pelvis. In between her hips, and she's a damn fool, stupid-ass fool, Walk around here, bottom part of her body, disconnected from the top part of her body. So the true head, her, her pussy head, is disconnected from her damn head between her ears. And then there's a, another consciousness in head above that, because people seem to think there are seven chakras and they're not. There's seven, there's eight, there's nine, there's ten, there's eleven and twelve chakras that are uh, residing above the top of your head, above your crown. So they don't even know about that. But they're on this low shit of how to screw and pardon and get pregnant and have these damn babies, and then you know they low when you see the type of children that they reproduce and you see the type of mindset that the child has, and you look at their whole family and the whole household, and it's enough to be damn embarrassed. And I look at these older women that have supposedly have taught me and paved the way for me, and I look at all of them in the community, and I see the children and the daughters that we have walking around here shaking their ass, walking gap-legged and damn slew-footed, sucking on damn lemons, practicing on how they're going to ride a damn dick. And that's all they know. That's all they want to know. Or uh, when they going to damn smoke some crack. Because you got teenagers around here smoking crack and taking X pills. Which party they going to slip out in? Who dick they going to suck in the damn toilet in between damn third period? Who they finna skip school with? When they going to sneak off from school, get a damn abortion, or get some uh, birth control pill? You know, I'm seeing all of this, and many of us can't do nothing with our children. You know, they, their womb is all fucked up already, damn 11, 12 years old. You can't tell them nothing. they backwards. It's just like you. we've given birth to damn jackasses. Because what they tell me, a jackass can't reproduce itself. You just put damn, what, put a horse or a mule or something together. You put two damn things together and create a damn jackass. And that's what a lot of our women are. They round here with their ass that moved up to their damn forehead. So they got an ass head, a damn mule head, dumb as hell, backwards. Don't know where they damn going, but they think they damn do. Can't tell you nothing but how to damn pop, grind, roll, fucking suck, what the next video will, do the stanky leg, you know. But when it comes to some shit like this right here, when I'm talking about free your mind, liberate your mind, you know, clean your ass. And go back to get the knowledge of your ancestors and then stop dealing with this bullshit from these dysfunctional families. They want to fight you. What you mean? I, I need to leave my mom alive. I, what you mean? I'm going to go see my aunt. I'm going to see my... Yeah, but every time you go see them, then you want to talk about how dysfunctional they are. And they just said some shit to cuss you out or hurt your feelings. And it's drama and conflict with them. And now you've walked away. You haven't been enlightened. You haven't been brought closer to the spiritual sexual being that you were born to be, and you haven't been balanced. You're not more aware of who you are. You're more damaged, and now you're in more pain, and now you're in conflict because you're fighting yourself because a part of you wants to deal with them, and a part of you just knows it's time to wrap this up because there's too much pain and drama in it, and you're not healing. You're not elevating. You're not growing, you're getting weaker, and you're getting sicker because the same person that gave birth to you and then gave you the energy of the community when you came in that stole from you as a little kid are still them sucking and feeding and stealing energy from you now like a big, fat, old-ass parasite. That's the only way they have life because they have these dysfunctional children and family members around them that they feed on. Because they've made up their mind, that's what they want to do. They don't want to change, it's too difficult. They want to put it on you. 
And it's time that we really start to be responsible for our own healing and our own survival and decide if you have these types of relationships with family members, I don't care who they are, what is their issue and what is your issue. Because if you're still attached to them and you keep going back for more drama, more pain, and more humiliation, and you haven't changed it and flipped the script on them, you have to see what is your connection. What are you feeding on? People want to say, oh, it's not him. It's, see, I mean, see, it's, uh, it's her. And, 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 see, I don't do that. It's not me. Yes, it is, because you can tell me everything that's going on in their business. And you every week you have something else new to tell me about what somebody did to you, what they didn't do, what they said, and what they didn't say. And then you go right back for another extra helping of it, another serving, another plateful. But it's not you. Yes, it is you too. Because there's some need. See, we have a lot of us women. See, this is a whole nother show. A lot of women, including their family members, like to pick up stray dogs. They like to pick up handicapped niggas and handicapped bitches that are wounded in some kind of way. Oh, poor thing. Let me see, can I help them? Let me see, can I feed them? Let me see, can I fix them? Let me see, can I show them the way? Let me see, can I save them? That Captain Save a whole shit. You don't want nobody normal. Because to you, somebody dysfunctional and ain't got shit and got a poverty mentality, that's normal to you. That's okay because we all grew up like that. So that's cool to be like that. And then you get one of your buddies, she ain't got shit, you ain't got shit either. She getting fucked and she can't pay her damn rent. So nigga, she fucking, she wouldn't dare ask him for damn $5 towards the rent because he ain't got $5. So I don't want to put that pressure on him. But he put all kind of pressure on your damn behind and your hind quarters and all pressure all, all out of your mouth and put all kind of pressure on your damn behind, your damn anus ring. He put pressure on that, but you don't want to put pressure on his pocket because he ain't got it right now. But he got all kind of pocket full of and draw full of nuts. He got that for you, don't he? Got, he get the pressure off of them, but you don't. Wanna create no disturbance in the way he rattle his nuts around. You don't you 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 want to come put pressure on that. And when you you know when you look at women like that, that's dumb hoes like that. Usually they have girlfriend that's dumb right along with them. It's a bubblegum band. It's a bubblegum bitches, and they usually hang in a damn club. They have a clubhouse full of the dumb motherfuckers. Usually when you look at women that are always gossiping, always got something to damn talk about, if you look close at their ass, somebody close to them got a gossiping spirit on them just like them. They... Whether you see them, if you hang around enough, they get on the phone to keep up silly bullshit. See a woman get her ass beat, always arguing with a man. She got drama. She going to find girlfriends to do the same bullshit. Always got a house full of people. Always got a, a, on, you're on the phone all the time with your friends. But when you look at her friends, ain't none of them got shit. And they run in their mouth. And they own there complaining. She ain't got no money. Now the other one complaining she ain't got no money either. She trying to get some, but time tight, time hard. Y'all need to stop. And you can't change anybody. But when you start to see that pattern on somebody, you need to get the fuck away from them. Because I'm going to tell you right now, and I know this for a fact, even though a lot of people are talking about recession and they're losing their jobs, I'm telling you, there's a flip side to everything. And just like there are people that's losing money, right now there are people that are making money. There are people that are having a hard time. There are people that are thriving right now and that are eating good and that are living good. Everybody, just because they're black, is not struggling and scraping and have a hard time. That's not true. And if you don't believe me, you need to go out and do your homework and then and let me know. I don't have that mentality, and I don't want to be around anybody. Now,